Welcome to the underground, you rebel scum. This is the American expat. And uh, I don't know, did you guys hear about that, uh, what is it, sound investigations? I guess it's somebody that's uh, kind of doing the playbook of the James O'Keefe sort of thing. Managed to get a date with a guy that's a super secret uh, special FBI CIA agent and he spilled the beans all over the place about their secret operations. Yeah, absolutely crazy, this guy. Oh, let me see, what can I do with this mic, this camera? Hopefully the autofocus is working. Can you guys see me all right? Hopefully you can. This isn't live, so if you, yeah, it doesn't matter if you can or not. I mean, it does, but uh, you're not gonna be able to say anything about it while I'm recording it. Why did I ask? Anyway. Yeah, he goes on a date, and the guy's like, oh, I work in a... I can't really talk about my job. And uh, the man that he's on a date with is like, oh, uh, you know, and he's like, that's interesting. He says, yeah, if I say intelligence agency, what comes to mind? And, of course, this uh, the fake date guy is like, the CIA? That's right, that's the one. <laughs> it's like, oh, you know, I guess that's something I couldn't found out, uh, even though they, they could have because it was publicly available on the, this moron's, I guess, LinkedIn profile. Yeah, you know, he's a super secret agent at the uh, the CIA, contract worker, also works with the FBI, and uh, decides to be all cool and tell about how they work and they operate. So everything pretty much that you uh, suspect of the FBI and the CIA at this point is exactly what he said. They go around trying to create crime so they can arrest people. He said, you know, that that's... Uh, they can arrest anybody. They can uh, come up with anything. It kind of makes me think of that, uh, there was somebody that worked for Joseph Stalin like that. Show me the man and I'll find the crime. Something along those lines? Yeah, well, that's the way that our FBI works these days. And the CIA, apparently, since this guy's a super secret uh, CIA agent, publicly verifiable through his LinkedIn account. You know, what an embarrassment. What an embarrassment. You take these two once upon a time prestigious agencies. One of them is called the agency. The other one is, uh, or is that the NSA that goes by that? Either way, it just, oh my gosh, how thing, how they have fallen, how the mighty have fallen. The FBI, they don't solve crimes, apparently. They just go around, I mean, they, they create crimes. That guy called it nudging. The, uh, the fake date was saying, you know, like, does the FBI do a lot of entrapment? And the guy's like, oh, no. Uh, well, we, we take it right up to the line. We like to call it nudging. So they get these people, I'm guessing, like, uh, disabled type, you know, maybe 70 IQ type people. And they get on their social media, and he, he verified that as well. Like I said, you know, be careful what you... Uh, you're doing on social media. These people plant seeds and try and push you in directions you wouldn't normally go. Well, he confirmed that. They, uh, they push people in different directions and then get them to do stuff. Well, they, uh, he, he is admitting it. I'm sure that the, uh, the FBI and the CIA is going to be like, whoa, hey, we're not, don't associate us with this fathead. Uh, what an embarrassment. You know, it's so embarrassing for the agencies, for the FBI and the CIA. It's so embarrassing that it should be a crime. This guy is such an embarrassment that he should be in jail. That's how I feel. And the fact that they would let, really, they would put a guy like that, you know, they would give him access to classified information. It's corruption, plain and simple. This guy is a perfect example of corruption. If it was uh, Fan Fan or whatever it was that was dating the, uh, the congressman or senator or whatever he was from California, of course, it would have to be a man. So I, I don't know uh, who that would be. I'm not even going to guess, but he'd, be, he'd go for it. He'd date the Chinese spy and spill the beans. You know, these other intelligence agencies from other countries are probably laughing at us now. What a joke, you know? The CIA is supposed to be the most amazing, the best, and now it's a total joke. It has this fat head that goes on a date with another guy and just spills the beans about everything they're doing. Apparently, they uh, they got Alex Jones that way. They, uh, they couldn't sue him themselves, so they just encouraged the parents to sue Alex Jones. According to this guy, I mean... I don't know that that's true. You'd have to ask the parents if the FBI or somebody told them, like, hey, why don't you sue him, you know, and uh, take all his money from him. Just because they, they didn't like Alex Jones for some reason, I thought that he was like a crazy conspiracy theorist kind of guy. Why the FBI would care what he was saying, I don't know, but 
somebody's got an ox to grind against him. Anyway, I thought you guys might be interested in that. I'm out and about today. I made a video yesterday about the eclipse. I don't know if you guys saw that. You probably, <laughs> what, a, what a disaster. I, I went back and watched my own video, which, uh, you know, you should do if you are trying to make good videos. And, you know, it kind of reminded me of those creepy pasta videos that uh, people make on there. I'm not a creepy pasta guy, but uh, when I watched myself in the video, that's what it came across as. It's like a creepy pasta. So I probably won't do that again. I don't know. I don't know what kind of videos to make on YouTube. I don't really care anymore. Um, I guess I'll just talk when I feel like it every day like this. Anyway, I better get on to go get my son and go back home. I've got a nice roast cooking. It should be tasty, I hope. I'll see you guys in the next one.